CLL, or chronic lymphocytic leukemia, is a disease much more common in older patients. Uh, it is by nature a chronic disease, uh, and many patients are discovered by just having high elevated uh, white blood cell count. That this may be found at the time of a physical exam or blood work for other reasons, or they may present with symptoms. I think the best way to describe how people present and how they're diagnosed is to, to go through this staging system. Um, people with the earliest stage disease or stage zero disease just have an elevated lymphocyte count. So their white blood cell count is elevated and it's just lymphocytes. Stage one disease, and we have five stages here. We start with zero, which may be a bit confusing, but it goes zero through four. So the second stage, or stage one, is people, are people who present with lymph node involvement. So their lymph nodes are enlarged, and they may discover that themselves, or the doctor may discover it at the time of their uh, diagnosis. Those patients also usually have an elevation in the white blood cell count. Stage two disease are people that have enlargement of either their liver and or their spleen. So you have lymphocytes in the liver or spleen, and those are enlarged. Stage three disease are people who are anemic. The hemoglobin is less than 10. And stage four disease are patients who have low platelets or they're thrombocytopenic, their platelet counts less than 100,000. Unlike most things in medicine, the staging system's actually gotten a little bit simpler. Now there's a modified RAI, R -A -Y, R -A -I, uh, is the person who came up with the staging system. So a modified RAI staging system, which uh, takes stage zero patients with lymphocytosis or increased lymphocyte count and calls them low risk. That's about 40% of people at the time of diagnosis, and the average survival of those group is quite good. It's uh, over 12 years, and since it's an older group of patients, many of these patients die with their disease, not from their disease, and that's very important differentiation. So many patients who have leukemia that you've heard about that never received treatment, most of those patients probably had CLL, and they had early stage CLL. Stage one and two disease is lumped together into an intermediate risk group which makes up a, another 40% or so of patients at the time of diagnosis, and their average survival is in the six or eight year range. Many of these patients do require some treatment over time, but may not require treatment initially, and they either present with an enlarged lymph nodes and or their liver or spleen are enlarged. And then the high risk group, which is the stage three and four group, the people that are, their blood counts, or their normal blood cells are impacted, uh, those people make up about 20% at diagnosis, and that really does impact their disease. If you do not treat them very aggressively, their average survival is only in the two to three year range. So this is a group that receives treatment initially, as we'll talk about a little bit later. So I think by seeing that, you can, you can determine how people present. So about 40% of people present just with elevated lymphocytes. About 40% elevated lymphocytes and they have enlargement of their lymph nodes or their liver and spleen. And most of them are fairly asymptomatic, except they feel some enlargement. They may have slight abdominal fullness from the enlarged liver or spleen, but usually they're fairly asymptomatic. And the higher risk people with the anemia or thrombocytopenia may present with weakness and fatigue from the anemia, or they may present with some bruising and bleeding from the low platelet count. 